Welcome dear audience students and scholars here I am Dr. Amjad Ali in this video we will learn the nominal interest rate and the demand for money. Dear scholar the quantity theory is based on a simple demand function it assumes that the demand for real money balances is proportional to income although the quantity theory uh, is a good place to start when analyzing the effects of money on economy it is not the whole story here we add another determinant of quantity uh, of money demanded that is nominal interest rate the whole the cost of holding money the money you hold in your wallet does not earn interest if instead of holding that money you use it to buy government bonds or deposit uh, it in a saving account you would earn the nominal interest rate therefore the nominal interest rate is the, is the opportunity cost of holding money uh, it is what you give up by holding money rather than bonds so another way to see that the cost of holding money equals the nominal interest rate uh, is by comparing the real uh, returns on alternative assets so assets other than money such as government bonds earn the real return or money earns expected real return uh, of minus e5 because its real value declines uh, at the interest uh, uh, at the rate of inflation so when you hold money you give up the difference between the two these two returns so that's the cost of holding money is uh, i minus into minus uh, expected pi which is the Fisher equation tells us the nominal interest rate i just as the quantity of bread demand uh, depends on the prices of bread the quantity of money demanded depends on the prices of holding money hence the demand for real money balances depends both on the level of income and the nominal interest rate then the e journal money demand function became as uh, p over or m over p uh, d is equal to l into i y the uh, l is used to denote money demand because money is the economy's most liquid asset the asset most easily used to make up transactions the equation says that the demand for the liquid of uh, liquidity of the real money balances is a function of income and nominal interest rate the higher the level of income why the greater the demand for real money balances the higher the nominal interest rate the lower the demand for real money balances future money and the current prices we can explain the future money and current prices with the help of our diagram uh, here we have the linkages uh, among money prices and interest rate okay while talking about the money prices and interest rates are not related in a several ways as the quantity theory of money explain money supply and money demanded together determine the equilibrium price level so changes uh, in the price levels are by definition the rate of interest so inflation in turn affect the nominal uh, rate through the Fisher effect but now well, because inflation um, nominal interest rate is the cost of holding money in the nominal interest rate uh, feeds back to effect uh, uh, the demand for money okay while explain explaining the uh, linkages among money prices and interest rate uh, uh, the relationship between money prices and in, uh, inter, uh, and interest rates money supply and money demand and uh, jointly uh, affect the price level and changes in price level determine the uh, inflation rate uh, in the economy and the inflation rate influence the nominal interest rate so here we have the nominal interest rate so because the nominal interest rate is the cost of holding money it affects the demand for money in the economy
Okay, future money and the current prices. So consider how the introduction of this last link affects our theory of price level. Okay, first equate the supply of real money balances M over P to the demand L as a function of uh, I and Y. So we can write it M over P is equal to function of L uh, I over I Y. Okay, next uh, use the Fisher equation to write the nominal interest rate as the sum of the real uh, interest rate and the expected inflation the equation become as m over p is equal to l into r plus expected value of pi and y so this equation states that the level of real money balances depends on expected rate of inflation so last equation tells a more sophisticated story about the determination of the price level than does the quantity theory of money. So quantity theory of money says that today's money supply determines uh, the today's price level. Okay, this uh, this can be further generalized that uh, uh, the money demand equation implies that the price level depends uh, not only on today's uh, money supply but also on the supply expected in future. To see why is, is uh, why this happens, suppose the Fed or the central bank announces that it will increase the money supply in the future, but it does not change the money supply today. Okay, this announcement causes people to expect the higher money growth and higher inflation. Through the Fisher effect, this increase in expected in inflation uh, uh, ar uh, arises the nominal interest rate the higher nominal interest rate increases the cost of holding money and therefore reduces uh, uh, the demand for real money balances because the central bank has not changed the quantity of money available today and the, re and the reduced demand for real money balances leads to a higher price level hence uh, expectation of higher money growth in the future leads to a higher price level today the effect of money on price is very complex and that will be discussed with the help of uh, Kogan uh, model in our coming videos which shows how the price level is related to current and expected future monetary policy in particular the analysis conclude uh, here that uh, the price level depends on a weighted average of the current money supply and the money supply expected to prevail in the future so this is all about nominal interest rate and the demand for money so see you with another video ciao